Welcome to Kennington in Southeast London. We're here to explore the Northern Line extension. So let's start the show. I'm quite familiar with Kennington because I lived here for a while way back in the early 2000s. In fact, um, Paul, when he first came to the UK to visit, stayed with me in Delon Street, which is uh, just around the corner from here. You remember that, my dear, don't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, it wasn't the best of accommodation, but because it was so close to central London, there wasn't that uh, much of a distance to travel. We'll take a little look at the street. It really was very close to Cannington Tube Station and that's where we're going to start our journey on the Northern Line extension. We'll be taking a trip on the entire route, which is two stops, from Cannington to Battersea Power Station via Nine Elms. So let's take a ride. So for this first leg of the journey, we are taking the train all the way to Battersea Power Station where we'll take a look around and then we'll get back on and get off at Nine Elms on the way back. And now you're excited. Well, it looks like we arrived at a Battersea Power Station. Now let's have a look at what's around. Absolutely fantastic, super modern. After coming from Kennington, which is a station, of course, I know very well from way back in the day. Um, one of the oldest stations on the underground network. Now standing in the newest one, one of the two newest ones. Um, it's very reminiscent of the Jubilee Line extension, which uh, opened just before the millennium. The stations look very, very similar, um, except the only thing is, I will note, that there is no glass um, divider between the train and the platform. But apart from that, it really is absolutely fantastic. Super modern, escalators, nice and bright, yeah. 10 out of 10, I think. I think a lot of people will be exploring a Battersea Power Station and Nine Elms today. Uh, it's certainly going to be a tourist attraction for a while. Uh, we've got another set of escalators um, to, to go up now. Uh, it must be quite a deep station.
Well, as you can see and probably hear, there's quite a lot of construction work going on here. That's because um, the area is being transformed from its um, original power station, which has um, been sort of laying empty for many years now, and uh, been turned into a massive um, retail and housing area. And there are the towers of the ta of the of the power station. Um, and you can see just how, how close it is to all the, the new construction going on and the station below it. So for the time being at least, probably for the next year or so, um, it will be more of a tourist attraction just for the people to come here and use, use the line and see the station um, rather than people actually coming to shop and live here. How much do you know about the Northern Line? Here's Paul with a few facts. The Northern Line has its origins in two early tube railways dating back to 1890 and was named the Northern Line in 1937. It runs from High Barnet and Edgware in the north to Morden in the south. The line splits in two between Camden Town and Kennington, running on the Charing Cross branch through the West End and the Bank branch via the Financial City District, with the extension running from Kennington to Battersea Power Station. The Northern Line now has 52 stations. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's see what there is around Nine Elms.
So I was really looking forward to getting a new map, but the ones provided here at Nine Elms are from May 2020 and they don't yet have the extension on it. So come on TFL, print some new maps and get them to the new stations. Well Paul, Nine Elms station would have been quite handy for you when you went to get your um, US passport renewed at the, the US Embassy in November 2019, wouldn't it? I think it would have been much closer and much less of a track. Well, so at least it will be next time in 2029. Have you enjoyed your day on the Northern Line extension, Paul? It was great seeing these state-of-the-art stations in the fr in the flesh. Yes, indeed. Well, they are very, very modern. Um, absolutely fantastic. And it's a great addition to London's transport network. Well, thankfully, there is a Sainsbury's with a cafe right next to Nine Elm Station. So I think we're going to have a bite to eat. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Adios. Bye. Bye.